and upgrade the electrical grid. And it is going to cool down in the coming days around here, right, Andrew? Coming days. In fact, this morning, if some of you had those automatic thermostats first thing this morning, maybe some of your furnaces kicked on the first thing this morning. We have a few 30s that are out there. Knox, Winnemac, Warsaw. The rest of us hanging out right around 44 to 22 degrees to get us started here on a Tuesday morning. Outside reset is expected once again for today. And outside of a few clouds in the extra layer for these early morning recess times for the afternoon, full sunshine. And we warm up, I think, to around 70 degrees degrees later on for the second half of today. Hour by hour with first alert weather future track outside of one or two clouds passing around in the sky. Another pretty perfect refreshing day. We're windows down weather for the commute home later on today with highs right around 70 degrees. We do on the first alert though. We are going to see our breeze increasing for this afternoon. Calm wind this morning. That's why our temperatures are so cool to kickstart this Tuesday. But once we head into the afternoon, we do see some gusty wind around 20 25 miles per hour arriving in Michiana and even cooler air could be arriving early next week. We are still analyzing the data for a pretty strong fall cold front this upcoming weekend into early next week. Uh, we're still really watching the data to see how far south this dip in the jet stream goes and how far west uh, we can see this cool air blob moving. But nonetheless, this is going to bring with it a chance for a few hit and miss showers starting towards the tail end of the weekend early next week. Some gusty wind and our first taste of some frost potential early next week. And we're going to take a look at some of these cool morning low temperatures headed our way next Monday, next Tuesday, next Wednesday morning. Wouldn't be surprised if we have a few locations flirting with around that freezing point around 32 degrees. Hour by hour with feeder track as we time out the arrival of this cold front. Quiet weather to end out this week. Feeder track is going to try to pinpoint maybe an isolated shower or two as we head towards Saturday afternoon. Right now, I think the bulk of Saturday remaining dry, but what we're going to watch for is Sunday. I think Sunday would be our best chance to maybe have a few hit and miss scattered showers during the second half of the day as a cold front does arrive. Something we'll keep watching here again and first alert weather. All right, thank you, Andrew. Hey, the SpaceX crew at the International Space Station